In this video, let's add the HTML in our component template. To keep it simple, we will be creating a user registration form. Now to get us started, I have already generated a new Angular project by running the command ng new reactive hyphen forms. And just like template driven forms, I have also added a reference to bootstrap for CSS in index.html. Next, let's open app.component.html and let's begin by removing the existing markup. Now the first thing we want to add is a div tag with class container fluid. Within the div tag, a heading that says registration form. Below the heading, we start a registration form with a form tag. The first form control is for the user to enter the username. So we have div class equals form group, a label that says username, an input element type is equal to text and class is equal to form control. So here form group and form control are bootstrap classes. The next form control is for entering their password. So we have label password an input element of type password. Again, bootstrap classes, form group, and form control. Similarly, we have another one for the user to confirm their password. So the label is confirm password, input type is equal to password. Finally, a button for the user to submit the form. So button, class is equal to button, button primary, type is equal to submit, and the text is register. Let's save this and take a look at our form in the browser. So in the terminal, navigate inside the project folder and run the command ng serve dash o. So we have the heading, registration form, inputs for username, password, and confirm password. We also have a submit button to submit the registration form. Please note that when it comes to HTML, there is absolutely no difference between template-driven forms and reactive forms. The HTML is always in the component template. Now that the HTML form is ready and can accept inputs, our next step is to create a model for this registration form which makes data exchange possible between the template and the class. I'll see you guys in the next video.